All right, now we're, that we've done the um, human algorithm, now we're ready to go ahead and start the flowchart. And so I started Visual Logic. Notice my Visual Logic is a little bit different than yours. Yours has demo all over it. Well, I have a signature, I have a signature file, so I can save my flowcharts. Um, it costs about ninety dollars from VisualLogic.org, and so that's why we're using the demo because nobody wants to pay almost a hundred dollars uh, for this. But if you go on to other classes, who knows? You might want to invest the money. So we have these steps right here, and I have to make symbols out of them. So very simply, I take a look at the first one, and it's an equal sign, which means assignment. So I'll go ahead and use the assignment um, symbol, and then I'll go ahead and configure it by using a copying and pasting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy number of days. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller. We don't need to see all that right now. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here. And I'm going to type the number 7. Copying and pasting is going to make uh, this so that I can't make a mistake. So I'm going to click OK. Then I'll go to the next one. And the next one is input. So right underneath here, I'm going to click the green arrow. Choose the input symbol. Double click on it. Come on. And the input symbol has actually two parts to it. It has a variable. And that variable is this sum total. So I'll copy Control C and Control V to paste, and then I have to ask it a have a question. So I'll in quotes put what is Sunday's uh, Sunday's total question mark close quote. So the important thing to remember is it has to have quotes on either end of this, and be careful. What happens is what do you want to do at the end of a sentence? Press enter. This appears. Students type it again. Press enter. It disappears. And then it doesn't work. And that's because I actually have it. Um, and if you ever want to see it, all you have to do is grab the bottom of it and then drag down and see that you actually do have something there. So be careful of that. OK, we're going to click OK. And if I want to test it, I can just hit play. It's going to ask what the Sunday total is. I'll put in 5 and click OK. So it's not going to do anything, but at least we can see that that works. Uh, it's always a good thing to t t test when you're uh, doing this also. Because this way, if I made a mistake on Sunday total, it would have given me an error message, and I'd make sure I didn't make that same mistake for the rest of them. Well, I can cop I can go ahead and make another symbol and create another one. The easiest thing to do, though, again, is use copying and pasting. So I'm going to click on that, right mouse click, and copy. Go to the next one down and paste. And the beauty of that is I just have to change a couple of things. One is I have to use mon total. So I'll copy and paste that in. And then instead of Sundays, I'll just change this to Mondays. Click OK. And then I'll go ahead and repeat uh, the process. I'll go ahead and copy this. Paste it in. Double click on it. Copy and paste Tuesday total. And change Monday to Tuesday. Okay, then I'll copy it again. Paste it in. Double click. Copy when del total. Control V. Change this to Wednesday. And then copy it. Paste it in. Open it up. Wish I had only made this a five day problem, but we did not. So we'll have to keep on continuing. Copy. Control C, Control V to paste, and then change this to Thursday. All right, almost there. So I'll go ahead and copy this, paste it in, Control C for Friday total, Control V to paste it in. Change that to Friday. 
And we're almost done. <clears throat> Copy Friday. Paste it in. Okay, change Friday total to Saturday total. And then change this to Saturday. Oops. All right, so we finally got all the input in. And now I only have two things to do. One is I have to put the grand total in, and since that has an equal sign, I'm going to use an assignment for that. I'll go ahead and copy grand total and paste it in. And then copy the equation. Control C, Control V. As you can see, I can't see everything. So if I just drag down the bottom of the thing, I can be able to see everything that I've done. So now I've copied and pasted. And since that was very consistent when I created this, I know that I'm not going to have any errors in there. So the most important thing I can take, uh, I can provide you right now, is copying and pasting is going to be your friends. All right. And then I have a couple more things to do. I have another assignment. So I'll go ahead and put that in. Control C, Control V, and you can see I can't see that either, so I'll drop this down a little bit and then we can see everything. And then I'll copy this. This is the equation that goes along with it. Paste it in. And now I have my two outputs. So I'm going to go ahead and add an output symbol. With an output, we want two parts to it. We're going to have a label, and we're going to have the place in memory that has the information. <coughs> so since this uh, the first one's going to be grand total, I'm going to put my label in quotes. The grand total is colon, space, space, and then close that quote. That's my label. Then I'm going to use the plus sign as the join symbol. Then I'm going to copy grand total. paste it in, and click OK. Then I have one last output to do. So I'll use the output symbol, and again I need a label and a place in memory. So this, this is the average. I'm going to put in quotes the average sales per day, colon, space, space, and then I'll use the plus sign as a join symbol and then the place in memory that has the answer. I'll go ahead and control C and control V and click OK. Well, now that I have it in, and the beauty of this software is that now that I've done this, I can see if my solution is correct by running it. So I'm going to press the Run button here, or press F5. It asks me what sun Sunday's total is. So I'm just going to put 10 in for each one. Okay, this is Saturdays, so it should be 70 for my grand total. The average for each day should be 10. Sure enough, it's working. And there you go. So uh, we came up with a problem statement. Then we changed that into a human algorithm, as you can see here. Then I take the human algorithm, plug it into my flowchart to see if it actually works. It does work. So now I'm ready to go ahead and code, and that will be on the next lesson.